Oh. My. God. <laughs> Yo. Welcome to my first ever gaming video slash let's play Vault Hunters. Oh man. Childhood Kyle is screaming right now. <laughs> so... If you don't know who I am, my name's Kyle Kupchak. I'm the vocalist of a metal band called CZYK. Nice to meet ya. Welcome. I uh, man, I'm not used to this. Oh dear God. So welcome to Vault Hunters. This is a modded Minecraft series that I'm gonna be doing. Uh, the goal, from what I understand, from watching the creator Iskel, he basically said the goal of this pack is to receive all 25 artifacts i believe um in the vault hunters pack so i'm oh caps locks on uh yes yeah, so the vault and we want artifacts no those aren't what i'm looking for but there are artifacts within this pack, and if you collect all 25, it brings you to the final vault, which, if you beat that, give yourself a pat on the back and you won the game, basically. Before we even start getting into vaults, which is just the primary mod pack, uh, or the mod, I guess, we first need the vault altar. Which we need to go to the end. Because <laughs> you can't get per per blocks. Anyway else. Dude, this all looks so complicated. I'm so nervous for playing mods. It's literally been a good like... God, maybe like five years of not playing mods. Probably. Uh, I just recently built a PC with my roommate's old parts. To where he's letting me use them temporarily for this gaming setup. So, I'm here now. <laughs> um, but I'm super excited, guys. Um, the vaults looks really cool. And everything about this pack just seems really dope. And I can't wait to dive into new mods. Like, um, there's one mod pack. Or, my God, I keep saying mod pack. There's a mod called Create. And it's this really technical stuff of using, like, cog wheels and all this automation to make stuff and everything it is wild but i am so stoked to be playing this right now oh they got thermal expansion in here let's go that's a mod pack that i if i say mod pack one more time i swear to god <laughs> i'm not doing so well right now english is not my first language apparently but you get what i mean it's gonna be cool so far, obviously, we have to mine some wood. 16, I believe, equals a stack. Yeah. I'm not completely forgetting everything when I used to play Minecraft all the time. Man, my sensitivity is off the chain. But, uh, so yeah. Uh, like I said, with the vault altar, to even get started with the core purpose of this mod pack, we need that vault altar, which means we need... To go to the end so we're unfortunately going to be playing normal minecraft until we get to that point but i'm going to do some digging i will let you guys know if i find anything cool or if something starts happening i'll let you know as well okay so before i forget so i just made myself some stone tools but with this mod pack there is a skill tree so this is my little statistics it shows all the vaults that I've been in, crystals crafted, uh, which once we get to the vault altar, I'll show you what that meant. Um, but there's abilities. This looks very spiffy. And there's talents and there's research, which... So if you think that I was able to just casually go craft that thermal expansion machine and start doing or doubling processing and everything, you thought wrong. So basically, I need knowledge stars, which I will be able to get throughout the vault. I have to get components of it to craft it. Let's see what it even requires. So it needs star shards, which is star essence, which that is 
semi-common in the vaults. Uh, but then there's these star cores where you need Laramar gems, you need perfect Laramar, which is more Laramar gems, and then a vault diamond block. And vault diamonds are relatively rare, pretty rare, honestly. So this is going to get really complicated really fast, but if I do want access to certain mods, I need knowledge stars. And some of them, obviously, are crazy expensive. 12 knowledge stars, that's crazy. So if I, yeah, if I click on these, this plus one means that everything else becomes more expensive. But if you do decorations first, all of them say minus one. So we are most definitely going to use the first couple of knowledge stars to just de-rank all of these so they cost uh, less. And then over here, obviously, you have your drawers, you have applied energistics, refined storage, Vault looter, huh? Oh, I don't know what that is. RF tool storage, more chests, and pretty pipes. Oh, God, there's so many new mods. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. And then you got farming. So there's quarries and stuff. Oh, that's cool. The RF tools builder. A garden cloche. I know that's going to be really handy in the future. Digital miner. That, oh, man. I remember seeing that in like 1.6.4 Minecraft. Those were good days. Mob spawners, laser mine. You know, you get the point. There's so much opportunities for this pack. I think it's going to be dope. <gasps> but Tanya still exists. Yeah. Base. Modular routers, dark utilities. Oh, man. There's so much to, like, re-explore. But once we get knowledge stars, we're definitely going for the decoration. But as of right now, we have five unspent skill points. So let's show the options. So execute uh, deals amount of damage. So with every skill point, it gets progressively more and more better. But also they start costing more as well. Like the first two levels cost one skill point, but the next cost two, two, three, three. You get what I'm saying. We are most definitely doing two levels of vein miner. <laughs> no questions asked. And then uh, Rampage, you do damage and uh, wait, gains massive damage boost for a short duration of time. So this type of stuff I don't really care for. Uh, massive speed boost. I mean, that's not terrible in the vault because uh, it's night. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> I don't know where to go. Um, oh, there's already a zombie. Great. Okay. So we're going to grab this. And we're going down in here. Which, for you guys, it's probably pitch black. So that sucks. Uh, let's try to find a torch really quick. <laughs> let's try to find some coal and make some torches. Um, but yeah, in the vaults, you really have to... Um, every vault has a time limit to where... Uh, I believe it's 20 minutes every vault, but that goes down really fast without you even knowing it. And there's also um, perks and like debunks to each vault where it could actually shorten your time in the vault to where stuff like this is not a bad idea. Uh, or there's the dash where it literally makes you dash. And it, once we get to the end of doing Elytra, that'll help immensely as well. Uh, with instead of using fireworks, we just use the dash ability and call it a day. So that's very helpful. Uh, tank, resistance, cleanse. Oh, that's kind of cool, but not necessary for like, there's not really, besides like withering, maybe this is kind of pointless. Hunter, locate any mob within a radius around you inside the vault by highlighting them with particles that's kind of cool i didn't know that was a thing and then mega jump makes you whew, and this will be very helpful in the vault as well but for right now for my sake we'll stick with the vein miner and there's talent over here too so this gives you extra hearts this gives you more experience more speed haste uh knockback resistance able to step up more blocks which i don't understand that um removes all possible fall damage that's pretty good actually i didn't know that was a thing what 
two. You have to be level 300 to get this. Grant's creative flight. That is mad. Uh, player's reach. That's pretty cool. Adds on breaking levels to the player. Oh, so it... Like... Even with my pickaxe right now, it has no enchantments on it. It would add on breaking one to it. That's actually kind of useful. But we're probably going to get bulked up really fast where that doesn't matter. One thing out of all of these that does interest me is the twerker. <laughs> so if you are acquainted with modded or not, um, you will know Sky Factory uh, used to be a huge pack. And I don't know if it still is. Like I said, I'm not acquainted with this stuff anymore. But the twerker, you would literally just... Bup, 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 bup. We're good now. I disabled it. Now I could twerk all I want. So with twerking... Sorry, it's in this menu. It lets crops grow immensely faster. So we are most definitely... Just doing crops. Because that'll do wheat, carrots potatoes beets etc and then obviously with these melons pumpkins sugarcane cactus etc but i think we're gonna leave it like that for now uh once we get closer to everything i might bring dash but for right now we're okay but there is this <laughs> it breaks multiple blocks let's go okay so we're currently going through the cave and so far, I've gotten all right stuff. So a little bit of iron, some copper, uranium. I'm trying to dismiss a lot of the ores because it's going to take a while for me to get there. Oh, Fade miner so nice. And now I know what you're thinking already. Is that overpowered? Why would it? Oh, God. First zombie. Here we go. Let's get him. Yeah. Not even a thought. Um... <laughs> Um, so like, isn't Vainmire overpowered in all these abilities and stuff? No, it is not. Because with this mod pack, uh, later down the line when you make vault crystals, vaults, vault crystals need resources to be able to craft them. Uh, as you create more and more, uh, every recipe becomes harder and harder and more resourceful. To where at some point I will need to make massive mega farms to be able to support the vaults. <laughs> to where this vein miner is nothing compared to what I'm going to be facing uh, later on the pack. So don't worry about it. Oh, this might get bad. Ah, no. Ah, I'm not used to this keyboard yet. I'm still getting used to playing games again. Okay. Whew. Breathe. Light this area up. Dude, this cave is huge. I am so deep in this cave right now. Oh, I made a oopsie. I don't have food. That's a big oopsie. I'm going to come back to this cave. Hold up. Alright. Looks like zombie flesh looks very appetizing. What? I only have one? Oh. Okay. Let me grab some of this iron and stuff. Okay. Looks like I overstayed my welcome. Looks like I overstayed my welcome. Okay. 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 All right, we're good. Going to go back to the surface now. I'll come back to this cave eventually. Oh, man. I hear a piggy. Come on. Dinkleberg. There we go. Yes, and it's daytime. Thank the Lord. It would have been terrible if that was night. There he is. Get up. Get up. There we go. One? Who do you think I am, man? Is that a... Oh, it's still a normal pig. I didn't realize they changed colors now. I thought they were all pink. 
What is going on with my game? I'm gonna spare these sheep, and I'm gonna make shears and properly shear them. Okay, maybe I should have killed them anyway, because I got one from each regardless. Why did you jit me like that? What what did I do to deserve that? Oh my god, you're making me throw up. Oh, look at that biome. That looks cool. Okay, two. Yes! Alright, now I can sleep through the night. Now that's not an issue anymore. Honestly, I'll... Oh, there's... <gasps> this is my first bee! Oh, it's so cute! That's awesome. Oh, there's so many cows! You're mine! Dude, man, that guy was running for his life. Oh, man. Okay, I need to go back to my stuff. I might as well just shear him again. Do I have six? Okay, now I have two beds. Supremacy. <laughs> I got that. Alrighty. So, let's definitely get some better tools going already so we're gonna make we're gonna only make two iron picks i want to somewhat spare my stuff we'll make an iron sword so i do more damage yep one more heart more uh we could probably throw that out now i'll keep the stone pick helmets Alrighty, so one furnace was taking too long. Now I have four. We're cooking up a bunch of the food. It's awesome. I'm not even using this one yet. Uh, I thought these tallows were going to be uh, like smelting at the food or something. But nah, they're pretty useless. I'll keep them for a candle though. But we are going to quickly craft a bed and get to sleep. What? There's a white sleeping bag. That's so cool. Okay. We are not dealing with nighttime. Yeah, look at that moon. Screw you. Get out of here. Great success. Alrighty. So now we are going to use all oh, just enough iron, guys. Watch this. Actually, no, more than enough iron. Uh, I'm blanking out. Bam. Come on. Bam. Bam. Let's go. So now I'm probably, it would be really nice for me to find a village. If I find a village, you're actually able to pick up villagers and relocate them to wherever you want to go to where if I use villagers to be able to get XP and start enchanting stuff really fast. I'll make the vault part of this mod pack and this series a lot faster. Which I think you guys would enjoy a lot more than me just struggling to find resources to uh, hopefully not die from the ender dragon. So I'm going to go try and find a village. I'll be back with you in a second. Oh man. Village has been spotted. And I am going for it. I totally just broke my pickaxe, so iron pickaxe it is. Oh man, I'm so pumped. I really hope that there's good villagers in here and I can take them home. <laughs> and honestly, now that I think about it, I don't have a home. <laughs> I need to find a little place to camp out to start. <gasps> waystones! So waystones are basically you click on this thing and if you have multiple set up you just click wherever location you want to go to whatever you like place these and it'll take you there and unfortunately these where is it utility maybe no where wait wait stones there it is it's only one knowledge star so we can't use it but i will gladly take you <laughs> now we have a waystone and if we have two, then we could start that out. If I was able to find 
a what you may call it a oh god what tool do you break this with an axe maybe okay this is already becoming a problem I'm going to throw this out and decide I don't need black wool I don't need cave roots I don't need um I kind of want to keep those just to start collecting them but screw the tallows I don't need candles I need an iron axe though to I assume break this thing <laughs> hopefully I need more sticks Bam, 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 bam. Nice. All right. Now I have a full set of iron. There's that. There she is. And I picked that up again. It's all right. We'll throw it over here. Bam and bam. Awesome. Up. Oh, I do not need uranium. We'll just sort that inventory. If there is a library, that would be very helpful. Oh, a barrel. Nice. What's in there? barrels and seeds for a random water house whatever okay there's wheat yes oh i forgot twerk do it Yo! oh that's beautiful so now we have wheat now we have carrots Grow potatoes. Nice. Oh, I love this mod pack already. This is so nice. Okay, so now we have food. And now I know carrots and potatoes are like huge in the vault hunter uh, or the vault altar for crafting stuff. So that was very good to find as of right now. Very, very good. Oh, hello. 24 paper. Okay, so I don't know how he did it. A. Uh, uh, strings? Not. Uh, I could reassign these guys too. Um. Okay, I'll, I'll sacrifice that for right now. 10 clay for an emerald. That's pretty good. I'm just casually picking these villagers up like babies. Just calling it a day. Oh, man. Okay, so we really need to find a home. This is becoming atrocious already. I just need a place that I could store my stuff and call it a day. And honestly, I kind of want to do like Iskel's Vault Hunter series is. He lives in a giant hole in the ground, but it's protected and it looks good. Um, I probably want to go this way. Because it's more of like an open plains. And maybe I could just maybe I could just set up something simple for right now. Ooh, a blast furnace. That stuff uh smelts faster in there. I'll have to come back. Grab another smithing table. I like this area. I'm loving the view so far. Ooh, right here. Right there. So flat. I love that. And you know what? Here. So first we're going to sleep. And I need to light up the area. There's a way to check light levels. But I don't know if the specific mod is in this pack. But I'm pretty sure since we're in 1.18. Or ah, uh, We're only in 1.16. In 1.18 I believe it only needs light level 1 to be able to um, not have mob spawn. That's what I was about to look for. But. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. So now we have our spawn. And everyone's burning. That's a witch over there. That's terrifying. Um, we're going to place these barrels down. This will be ores and goodies. And that's it. And then this one is going to be junk. Because I got a lot of junk so far. Um... Let's make a little area over here. I need one more. Nice. Now let's make a little area for the farm. Okay, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's a good start for right now. We'll go bam, bam. Man, I am just not doing well with placement. Okay, let me make a hoe. 
and then yeah. I'm a hoe this ground. And now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure from the water source, it goes four blocks out, and then uh, it stops growing stuff. So we're actually going to make it that long. So this needs to go out one more. Yep. I'm going to go get more wood. my axe bro so as i'm heading back i'm sure you're wondering why do you want flat planes development i don't want to limit myself to a small confined space like in the mounds or something because then it's hard to develop off it but if i have just a flat surface it'll be so easy for me to expand this base and have storage and really make it my own now i'm starting to use dark oak planks because i like it better than normal oak i'm gonna try to finish the fence with these though because my oh i used it the wrong way oh i'm so close but i need oak trees and these are different trees oh wait actually is these oak <laughs> wait are these actually oak okay never mind i'm an idiot we're fine i'm gonna get some oak trees That is looking so much better. And for the final touch, bam, done. I'm just kidding. So now I need to go get iron. Actually, do I have three? Let's sleep really quick. Do I have enough iron? I do not. So we are gonna leave this episode here because I need to figure out how I'm going to edit the videos and really see how much content I'm actually producing. But let me know what you guys thought of this first episode. Let me know if you want to see more of this content. Of course, I'm going to keep on doing reactions, but I do want to start expanding my my content so I can start expanding to a variety of people except metal heads, you know. So I'm definitely going to try to progress a lot more uh, between this episode and the next, just so you guys don't have to constantly keep on seeing me do the small stuff. So if you haven't, make sure to like, dislike, subscribe, hate me, whatever you want to do. I'm the vocalist of a metal band called CZYK. Make sure to check out our music in the top right of your screen. If you want something heavy metal, listen to our song, Cracked or The Void. If you want something rock, listen to our songs, All I Know, or Give It Time. And that's all I got for you. Peace.